everybody. Welcome back to the Poppycock Show, or the uh, first Poppycock Show. Uh, my name is Richard Hauk, and as with me, as always, our co-host is... J.C. Freilich. And uh, we are here. We're going to try and entertain you for the next 45 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on uh, how long we run. Uh, we've got a couple things planned. We're going to go over some news-type business, and uh, all of it has to do with pop culture. Uh, we'll do, uh, got a game we're going to play, and then we're also going to do a little segment we call Top Five. Top we'll Five. Play. Top Five. So, uh, well, we got to get that put together. Just, <laughs> yeah, put just hit it. Theme song for that. Top Five. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to, we're just going to have a little fun here. That's what we're going to do. Um, JC and I decided we wanted to, uh, put something like this together and just to, just to connect with, we want to do some of this live, some of it recorded, um, most of it recorded. We'll do some live shows along the way, but we, um, it's just something that we, we kind of, we, we both enjoy. We both can uh, enjoy connecting with people, talking about movies, talking about music, talking about TV shows, talking about all sorts of stuff that has to do with pop culture. And uh, I think that's the best you know, best way to put it, we, that's the reason it's called the Poppycock Show, is because uh, we're here to talk about pop culture. Uh, JC um, is the host of a new channel on Twitch TV, or yep. Twitch.tv, and that's slash The Drivecast. The Drivecast. Tell us a little about it, JC. Uh, well, uh, I'm working on uh, doing some playthroughs, some video game playthroughs, which is... Uh, all the rage right now on the uh, Twitch. Uh, my first big playthrough just started. Probably by the time this uh, this hits uh, store yes. shelves, I've oh. just started my uh, playthrough of Red Dead Redemption Two. It's my first major playthrough. I'm very excited. If you have a chance, drop by, watch some of my videos, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Yeah, and you're probably you've probably been playing this all day. In fact. I don't know what we're thinking premiering this on the day that Red Dead Redemption comes out. <laughs> we're not going to... Maybe maybe we can play in the background while you're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. There we go. It looks fabulous. We're really excited about it. It's a news topic we're going to talk about, but I don't know how much more we can say about it that, other than get out and go buy it today. It is oh, man. fantastic. It's, it's supposed, supposed to, be. to be in the mail tomorrow. Nice. Nice. So yeah, if you uh, if you're looking for some playthroughs on it to see where, uh, check out uh, check out JC's channel. That's Twitch TV slash The Drivecast. And uh, if I look familiar, that's because this is being released on my channel. And I'm Richard Hauk, and uh, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Richard Hauk. I also have a Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Richard Hauk. Um, you see the branding that I've got going on there. Anyway. And um, mine is all over the place. Yeah, his is Drivecast all over the place too. So we're uh, uh, we've done some of this kind of stuff before. So uh, but we we wanted to kind of do it together. Um, yeah. And I've been friends for a long, long time, and uh, we don't get to see enough of each other. He lives uh, in Colorado, and I live in Arkansas, and uh, there's a couple states that separate us. So it's this a bit is of a drive. Place. Yeah, it's a bit of a drive. About 11 hours between us. Um, we don't get to see each other very often, but now with this, uh, probably more than anything, I mean, we, yes, we want to entertain. Yes. We want to sit down. We want to have meet new friends, but JC and I get to hang out. This is really for us. Yeah. This is for us. You all come along for the ride. And uh, a little bit later in the show, you're going to get to actually meet, uh, JC's lovely wife, Katie. And yep. uh, she is uh, fabulous. So. Indeed she is. She'll join us for the top five in the game, I believe. Yeah, she's going to be in for those two. So uh, uh, I guess uh, that's it. But we, you know, like I said, we just, we just wanted to put a little something together, do a little something extra, and something that allows us to be more freeform. My videos are, you know, pretty rigid as to how I lay them out and stuff like that. Um, JC is, you know, doing doing his thing with the uh, with the playthroughs and stuff like that. So this is a little different from both of those avenues and it allows us to, you know, get out there and do something. So, anyway, but uh, right. yes, uh, the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to jump right into our little news facts. We're going to do, every week we're going to do a little bit of 
what's been happening in the past week in pop culture. We'll put, pick, you know, three to five stories that we'll go over with you. And uh, JC has been kind enough since I was uh, uh, slacking. Really slacking and procrastinating. I came up with the game, though. Came up you did come up with the game. Yes. So yeah. uh, the game, uh, uh, i tell you what, the game might be, might be uh, kind of tough, JC. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to crush it. Yeah. Let's hope. It's hey. tough. We, we have, before we get into this, I guess we, we've been, we've been like piloting, test piloting these, these shows with a couple guests that have come in with me and, and Katie's been on before. So we've done some on Facebook Live. We've done a couple recordings that are, well, I'll be honest with you, the show has been a mitigated disaster. But we're hoping to change that today. Um, we've got uh, lost footage. We've got things that stop recording. Dead uh, batteries, uh, technology hiccups. Yeah. Internet that sucks. <laughs> there was uh, that. There was that. Yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a journey, and uh, for us to be able to sit here right now and share with you this first you know the first episode of this, there's, there's it's been a lot in the making. Yeah, yeah, there's there's uh, fifteen times the number of hours we're put into this show. Show <laughs> <All told. laughs> to get here, yes. <laughs> JC, what do you got in the news that happened this week? For the news you didn't know you needed to know, uh, I have. Let's start off with uh, Stephen King, prolific writer, is uh, selling film rights to young filmmakers for a dollar. Most recently, a 16- and a 14-year-old filmmaker from Wales, uh, they are adapting the uh, his, two, I believe, 2003 work, The Stationary Bike. It's not a story I'm familiar with, but uh, I just think it's fantastic that someone so prolific would be willing to uh, option his movies to very, very young filmmakers. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, like... Uh, um... I've got a couple of books that are short stories out there. And boy, I ain't giving it away for a dollar. I'll tell you that. <laughs> he's a better man than I, but he's also made his fortune at this point. So. He's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably not, uh, he's on the downside. Mm. <laughs> I mean, not to say his, the quality of work being is. Very, you're being very kind. Yes, that is. Uh, true. But he's probably put out most of what he'll put out. So, I think it's, yeah, just the fact that he's taken a chance. I mean, he, it's not that he doesn't care. He cares a lot to, to actually allow this to happen. So that's that. I mean, I didn't have a lot to talk nice. about it. Just, I mean, that's nice to see. And I'm glad you started off. Uh, we do have a couple of topics that are, that are a little more dark than this. Um, but let's start it off light because that's, that's, that's a good news topic. And you don't get, in this world that we live in right now, there aren't many good news topics that get reported. So that's that. Maybe we just should make that a thing every every at one, least one positive. At least one positive good news story. Because I agree. It's I tell you what, it, there's a lot of stuff out there, and we and this is one thing that we promise on this show, we won't get political. That's not what we're here for. It's not what this is about. We're not here to discuss politics. We're not here to discuss anything like that. Um. But one of the stories we do have to talk about has some political ramifications. And it's we're not judging anything on political backgrounds or anything like that, but there's some stuff that that in this story that are a little deaf to the to current climate. And Agreed. we just wanted to point that out. Um, and that's the let's just jump right into it and we'll talk about it. Yeah, uh, the WWE is having an event in Saudi Arabia in a couple weeks. They have uh, been promoting their first ever women's pay-per-view, which is actually this Sunday. I'm going to be watching it on some. It may fight with the Red Sox game. I don't know. We'll have to. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. I may watch it Monday. No, no, Red Sox will have swept by then. Yeah, Friday yeah. and Saturday. So It'll we'll be, be good. Friday, Saturday, be done. You'll see this on Sunday. Uh, 
but the first ever women's pay-per-view and they haven't given it a lot of screen time. Now there's been a little bit of stuff going on in wrestling and I don't want to get too much into it. Uh, it's very important for the landscape of professional wrestling. One of the top stars, I don't know if he's a crossover star for some, for people who don't necessarily watch wrestling, but uh, Roman Reigns, are you familiar with that name? Me? No. Okay. Well, that's why I wanted to, you, you yes, you're familiar I, with the name John Cena or the rock. Yeah. I wasn't sure uh, how much I'm on crossover. That. Yeah, no, uh, uh, JC is, is a aficionado when it comes to wrestling. He knows I, I know quite a bit, I'm, yeah. and, I, and I keep up with a lot of it. But Roman Reigns is their, their number one star right now. Just announced that uh, his leukemia that had been dormant for many years has come back. He announced this on Monday live in the ring, and it was a lot of people were taken aback. Um. For the WWE, this is this is a huge news story. Now I don't necessarily want to want to go to that, but this plays into the whole Saudi Arabia thing. They were holding off and not making an announcement and saying we might move it. We we're exploring options, and they're going ahead with the show in Saudi Arabia two weeks after the first women's pay per view. It's hard not to think it's not just the money. Yeah, that's it, the. It, it does sound like a complete money grab, and it's. I mean, it's, it's, like I said, I, we don't want to talk politics on here, but it's totally deaf to the situation in Saudi Arabia right now. And, right. And um, to be celebrating your first, your first time over to Saudi Arabia right now, probably not, probably not the greatest idea in the world, but, uh. It's um, doubling down on it and going for it. So they are. They there was a cancel crown jewel uh, hashtag on Twitter. I tweeted a couple tweets about how I didn't think they should go. Two of their big stars, including John Cena, have refused to go to Saudi Arabia. Uh, so with two of their big stars and with uh, Roman Reigns uh, now out of action indefinitely, you know he prom he made the promise in the ring he'll come back when he beats it. But I mean we're talking about a serious illness. Yeah. Uh, you know that, that at this point that's positive talk and and I'm happy that he's able to say I'll be back but the reality is who knows uh so with that big shakeup they the 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 last news story I read cited um low stock prices right now as the reason they're going ahead and it's uh, it's tough because it's a half a billion dollar deal over the next 10 years. I mean, from the company standpoint, from the humanity standpoint, I don't think it's tough at all. No. I mean, and not, not only that, now you've got three built in excuses on top of the, uh, it's the situation, the uh, assassination of the, uh, the journalist, the journalist there. You've got reasons not to do it now. But you are still just pushing forward with it. When I don't know that it's that wanted of a deal in the first place, as far as um, anybody who is not looking at a money situation. Right. You know, this this event could be held anywhere. Right, and they're saying, well, we can we can be the first to make moves to help change the culture from the inside, and that may be the case. The That's timing right. is terrible. Terrible. If you if they'd have said the same thing two years ago, I'd have, I would have maybe said, okay, maybe that's what it, they're going to do. But two weeks after the first women's pay per view with the assassination of the journalist, um, oh, I, I think it's a bad move. Yeah, and it is as much as there. There's a couple matches that I would really would like to see at that event. I will not be tuning in. I will not. I will not be watching replays of that one. I will watch the women's pay per view again. You're right. I'm not going to either. You weren't going to anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Did you hear that, WWE? I am not watching this. Cancel okay. Crown Jewel. Hashtag. Cancel, cancel, hashtag crown. cancel Crown Jewel. I, I don't know. It just, like I said, it, it, from the beginning on this, it just seems deaf to the current climate. Right. Right. I mean, there, there, there have been... There have been places in the UK clamoring, saying, look, we will help you host this event. It's not too late. Tickets haven't even gone on sale yet. Right. And it's like in 
I mean, it's two two weeks from Sunday. Well, see, oh, man, geez. The uh, the thing is, too, I mean, if it's is a 10-year deal or whatever, let's let's why don't we push this back? If you if you guys are still serious about this, let's think about this. Host, if you if you want to go with some event that weekend, push it somewhere else, and then let's talk about this Saudi Arabia thing after. And and it just it just doesn't make sense to drive it this hard when there are decisions that could be made otherwise. I think that's I think that's what we're trying to say. Is it is it, it is and so the you know the 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 women's pay-per-view is called evolution it's the women's revolution the women's evolution it's the the they changed from divas the divas title to the women's title uh this huge push and you know i've seen a lot of women's action this year it's been really great to be a fan of women's wrestling this year how do the women who can't perform I mean, certainly some of them are going to are going to speak company line Mm -hmm. that this is the beginning of maybe hopefully doing it years from now. But how how do they really feel? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak for them. I. I I feel wrong about it. (laughs) Yeah, I would say, I mean, and obviously coming from two men talking about this, we can't. Right. We can only say what we would think. Our our perspectives are limited. Right. Nah, I'm, if you listen to some people, I'm half woman anyway. So I'm going to let that part speak. But it doesn't feel like this would be something that I would, that's going to be pushing forward an agenda right now. Right now, we need to focus on the current situation. Right. Uh, Yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of people who don't have the same power that John Cena does to say, I'm not going, who are going because Because they don't want to lose a spot. You know, you make Vince mad, he's the end all be all. You make him mad, you lose your spot. So they just some I, I feel like some just don't have the power. There's no wrestlers union or anything like that. So um some people are calling for that. Yep. Be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. So anyway, I, I mean we could probably go on this topic for a while. We could, good. we could. But uh I guess we're gonna need to move on and uh what do we got next? Final topic? Oh. Another fun topic. Fun one. So uh, in the the theme of horror, we talked a lot about horror. I often talk of horror films. Uh, We've got LeBron James is co-producing the new Friday the 13th reboot. Nice. I don't, I, I, it's, it's one of those things that like when you hear it, you're like, what? Okay. That's, that's cool. I guess. I mean, that's what you want to do. Yeah, hey, it's, hey, you know, and whatever. If he's if he's all for it, let's let's go for it. Let's check it out. But uh, I mean, apparently he is a huge, huge. Uh, well, Friday the Thirteenth. I believe he released a line of sneakers that had like blood spatter and stuff on them. I, I believe he released a LeBron Friday the Thirteenth sneaker. Wow, that's uh, there you go. The only thing I can hope for is I hope it's a really good movie, and then finally LeBron will have done something that I enjoy. <laughs> I enjoy watching the man play basketball. He is uh, he is something. Something to behold, he really yeah. is. Um, he's ah, no, no. I I guess I I guess I kind of cheered for him. Uh, Miami Heat years when he was with Wayne Wade. Yeah. Uh, usually, um. Usually chair for somebody else. So. But love love LeBron. I mean, he's no doubt, you know, he's one of the great. Yeah. One of the, yeah, absolutely. And if he can leverage uh his fame and his his money to create something that there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah. I'm absolutely in. yeah. I mean I, I you know, and honestly, you know, I'm this is one of the things that you get with JC and I is we do have total like he likes his wrestling. He likes his horror movies. I like neither of those. And so you'll get a little different view- viewpoints from both of us. Even though, we're, you know, we're best friends, we uh, uh, we still, you know, we, we don't have a lot of the same views on things, except socially, probably. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we kind of we nail it on that one. But, uh, yeah, I, but the point of that is, is that with LeBron behind us, I, I'd probably go check it out. You know, I mean, I'd 
I like Friday the Thirteenth. That's I mean that's a classic. You can't go wrong there. But I guess you could go wrong remaking it because that's we've seen that happen many many times. Yeah, so, I mean we've seen a ton of sequels. The actual the Platinum Dunes remake from a handful of years ago wasn't terrible. It had some missteps, but it wasn't terrible. So I don't know anything to give to to keep life into uh, that w- that cannot be killed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, speaking of, um, you just went and saw another remake. I did indeed. It's not a remake. It is a continuation of the series, right? It is, yeah. Uh, so it's a, some semi-reboot, I guess they're trying to call it, trying to if they're trying to find a name for it. But I, I saw the, the Halloween movie uh, that just came out recently. Um, so if you're a fan of the series... Um, this ignores anything past the very first original Halloween movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is a continue. So two through H2O. Uh, what came after that? I don't know. Uh, and then uh, we're just totally pretending Rob Zombie's Halloween's never happened. Uh, this is the very first Halloween. And then oh. what would happen somewhat grounded in reality uh what would potentially happen after the 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 events of the very first halloween i tell you what i didn't know that i i i kind of just thought i mean i did see that jamie lee curtis was back in this one but um i guess i just kind of thought it was just another i mean I, i knew that she was coming back for Looks, it appears I haven't seen it, so I'm 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 spoiler free on this one. It appears that she's coming back for some kind of revenge or whatever from the trailers, but it. Uh, I I, just, I guess I just thought it was just another you know just another one in a long line of. Yeah. yeah so the. Or, <laughs> well, the way. The so now officially the Halloween timeline is so messed up. Yeah. Because. You have three, so three doesn't fit in anywhere. Three is where they try to take Halloween. They tried to end Michael Myers, and they tried to make it a different story every time. They tried to make it an anthology series. So three doesn't have anything to do with Michael Myers at all. Okay. So basically, in the original continuity, you have one, two, four, and then like four and five. And then you have like some alternate stuff that comes in and like H2O and, and so then we have also now Rob Zombie's Halloween one and two, and then now another timeline that is Halloween one and then Halloween 2018. I'm so confused. That's, I mean, that's, that's Marvel timeline stuff right there. I mean, it it you know. is, but only a couple of them are are, are good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird, but I will say, as if you watch the 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 original Halloween and then watch this as this would be its its sequel, two. this would be two. Uh, assuming even though two is probably I like two a lot, the original two. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> this would be, and it, it is, it is. They play, they play Jamie Lee as, uh, what Laurie Strode would be like 30 years later or 40 years later, however long it is. I'm bad with times, but like how messed up would the person who went through those events be? Yeah. And yeah. that's how they play her. It's, it's, it's well done. It's fun. A little bit of comedy, a little bit of gore. It's, it's a good Halloween movie. Huh. Like for Halloween time, not just in Halloween title. Right. Good. Good. Uh, I mean, you actually kind of made me a little bit curious, but I like to, I don't go to many horror movies. But if this is so related to the first one, just like that, I mean, kind of. I mean, the first one I've seen, of course. But well, if you've yeah, if you've seen the first one, it 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 hits some of the same beats. Yeah. Um, it's very recognizable. It's very relatable. I'll put it uh-huh. that way. Hmm. Well, there you go. Now I got a movie I got to watch. Great. So that's all for the news today. But what we're going to do now is we're going to bring on Katie and we're going to play, uh, we're going to do top five 
Top five. Top five. And then we'll uh, we'll talk. We'll finish that off. We'll play a little game of predictive text. Oh no. Predictive text. It's going to be interesting. I got a feeling. It's it's a. I I just when I wrote these questions out, they're there's something fierce. So um, just be prepared. I got this. I got it. You got it. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, yeah, I'll bring it on Katie now, and we'll uh, we'll switch over. To so this is a segment we call Top Five. And top what it is? Five. Top Five. <laughs> we'll was, get it eventually. That's pretty good for you know first time. So we, uh, what this is is uh, top five is uh, we go through and we pick a category and we say, okay, give us your top five horror movies. And everybody goes through and <laughs> you don't want that one, JC. That's hard. You know how hard that is. Um, so we, uh, we go through and pick those out. And then we come together here and reveal them to each other and we'll talk about them. And so that's what we're kind of going to do tonight. Uh, as much as JC likes top five horror movies, this is my category. This is in honor of the Red Sox. Yes, yes. Making it to the World Series. It's all excited. We're all excited about that. Um, if you're a Dodgers fan, I'll, it's fine too. We like Sorry. that. Sorry. But hey there. Hey there. Not, they just got to lose. <laughs> they just got to lose this time. Sorry. Anyway, so, uh, but in honor of the Red Sox making it to the World Series, we have chose the top five sports movies. So this is all categories, comedy, drama, whatever. Um, we're going to bring it, and Katie is going to start us off being the original Boston Red Sox fan in our group. So what do you got at number five, Katie? All right, so if for number five, you know, I think it's apropos right now. We got the Red Sox in the World Series, which the fact that this just comes out of my mouth so naturally now after so many years uh, is pretty amazing. But uh, my number five, Fever Pitch, Jimmy Fallon, Drew Barrymore. Yeah, it's yeah. a stupid rom com, but it just it means the world to me. And it's funny, and it's it's sweet, and I, it's yeah, it's and it's a happy movie, you know. It, it is. is, a it happy is. Movie. Yeah. I don't want to watch it. We might have to watch that. Yeah, just to just to celebrate in regular style, because uh, it's it's it goes right along with the season right now. So. Yep. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. What do you got at number five there? My uh, number five is, uh, I have not watched this one in a while, so I'm not sure how it holds up, but uh, White Men Can't Jump. Ooh, that's a, you know, you know, that's a good question. I wonder how that does hold up, because I haven't watched it in a while either. Yeah. I'm going to say it. I'm saying, I'm yeah. I'm saying there are parts that are going to feel weird. You're so gonna, there's going to be some cringe factor to it a little bit. It was, it was one, on one of the premium channels a couple weeks ago when I was home alone and I flipped it on and I was like, I should not have watched this movie when I was 10 years old. Like uh, legit should not have watched it. That makes me sad. Um, com- there's a lot of comedy that just doesn't hold up anymore. Nope. Nope. Yeah. I think it's, a nature it's, of very, comedy. it's just very dated. It's very like yeah. the way Dressed, everything is just so like, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Like, we dress like that? Okay. Yeah, but, man, yeah, yeah, you got it. I, I love, yes, I love that. I mean, yes, it's probably, it's, it's, the, it's the difference in like, I'll still watch Eddie, Mur- early Eddie Murphy at home. I mean, we're not, <laughs> that's not making it back to the theaters. Let's put it that way, you know. They're not going to throw, they're not showing Raw in the theaters anymore. Same thing with this. I'm still gonna watch White Man Can Jump. Watch it as a picture in time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's how you have to take anything anymore, because uh, with all the correctness that we've come across in the past few years, it's just, I mean, stuff doesn't hold up, and it gets, oh. yeah. So. All right. My my number five is uh, from about that time, probably a little earlier than that mid 80s uh, the natural i had it on vhs tape and i wore that out with robert redford uh playing a baseball player that gets young spoil it don't spoil it jc's never seen it what yeah let's see this is on your list to see now we uh, he hasn't watched he plays it plays a uh, baseball player who uh, is derailed in his track and makes his uh comeback that's pretty good without giving any kind of spoilers. Yeah, no, it's great. Great movie. Great movie. JC, get on that. Yeah, I will. I will. All right. It's on the list of shame. Okay, good. 
right. My uh, my number four. Uh, I would not be surprised if this uh, this movie didn't make both of your lists. Uh, Don Aston, Rudy, Notre Dame, so good, classic movie. Pretty 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 good shot that it makes my list. I'm just saying maybe. So. There's. I would be surprised if it didn't. Stranger things have happened. Yeah. Yes. That's a, that's all time classic. All time classic. I just. Have you ever been to the Notre Dame campus? No. No. Oh my gosh, that sounds beautiful. Yeah, that's a that's a bucket list item too. You gotta get them. I gotta go watch a Notre Dame game some point in my life. So. Well, we were much closer before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gotta miss yeah. that opportunity, didn't we? Uh huh. Yeah. Did. <laughs> so, yeah. That's. I don't know what else you can say about it. It's just it's it's near the top. Let's say that. Yeah. It's a top five movie. I'll say that. It's a top movie. Right on. Uh, my number four is Happy Gilmore. There you go. That's yes, yes. That's uh. You, you went to comedy in a row here. I did. Yeah. Okay. I did. There are so many great one-liners from that movie that, you know, I had it right. Like you know, my first uh, year in college. I had all of these wave sounds for like all of my computer things. Mine were all clerks. And it was all like Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. Yeah. Oh man. That's yeah, that's 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 my that's my I probably where I got a lot of my humor at is from that that era in movies and Well I think that's I think that's where coming of age too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was great. Uh, right, number four, number four, we're going happy to sad, um, and mine's uh, Brian's song and like serious sad. Yeah, <laughs> serious sad. Like we just went like really half, real happy to sad sad. And it's, so uh, I've never seen it. Oh man, that's on your shame list right there. There it is. Yeah. Next next, next five next week. Top five shame list. So okay. You haven't seen that you should have seen by this point in your oh, life. Man, I've that's... got a good I've got a good list of shame. Shame yeah. list. Yeah. I'll have to Yeah. I mean the thing is is if I really wanted to see it, I probably would have saw it, but that's sure. tough. That's You're like... a tough list. That might be a tough list. That's yeah. Good. For me, there's so much stuff. There is too. There's so many things. Yeah, there is. That's the thing. There's so much stuff that it's hard to, you know, to. It could be like shame horror or shame comedy. Right. Because I think you'd have to. There's way too many movies. Uh, I don't know. I think it'd be it'd be a really tough list if we go all of them. I mean, yeah. that would be super super hard. Um, <laughs> All right, so Brian's song. So tell me about it. What's that about? Uh, two teammates, uh, rookies, start in uh, Chicago Bears, and it's based on a true story, as well. As well. Um, and uh, uh, they basically battle off for the same position, and they push each other hard the whole time, and really come from two two different walks of life, and yet they end up gelling together and, and becoming best friends. So nice, nice. Yeah. Is there um, like is there are uh, famous actors in it? Yeah, uh, James Caan and uh, uh, Billy D. Williams. Billy D. Williams that plays uh, who plays? Yeah, Billy D. Williams that plays uh, Gail Sayers. So. Huh. Yeah. No idea. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a add it to your list. Add it to your list. You guys are gonna be watching some sports movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what we got at number three? My number three, uh, you know, I, I hate to use the word classic. I use it too much, but it is. And it's, you know, we use it a lot in like leadership development classes that I take. But uh, remember the Titans. Mm. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, I ended up with like 10. Like we're only supposed to have three. We, we do with our top five and then we give three, like, honorable mentions i had like six honorable mentions and i dropped this one off because i knew somebody was gonna have it on there like right, I, right. I, it's it's a quality movie but i just don't watch it enough I, and 
these other ones I've watched to no end. It's kind of ridiculous. So. Hayden Payne is here. She's like five in it. She's great. Yeah. She's hilarious in it. Oh, she's, she's so, so funny. funny. Yeah. And then Will Patton, who we talked about last week. Like, I love him. He can be in every movie. Yeah. And then Denzel. I mean, you can't go wrong with Denzel. Man, that's a good, that's a good, yeah, that is a good movie. Anybody. You gotta watch it. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I've got that one or not. That might be the a shame movie I don't own. That's That might be one I have to check out. Close. Yeah, we do. Yeah. All right, what's your number three? My number three is Rudy. <gasps> oh, Rudy. There he is. Yep. Yeah, Making his second appearance on the in our top fifteen. Total. Sweet little Rudy. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know what we're supposed to say that we haven't said before. I mean, it's like right. It's, I know. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, so what's your top? What's your number three? Yeah. What's your number three? Hoosiers. <laughs> Hoosiers. Who? Who? That's. Uh, so many times, and it's such a. I guess. Uh, Another true story, man. I'm like, I'm, now that I'm looking at my list, like I've got some true stories all over this place. Well, you know what? I I think it's really easy to just convert sports stories. It's, it's you know the American institutions of baseball yeah. and football, and right. I think it's very easy to to make movies out of true stories. Well, and it's I mean that's half the reason we watch sports anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. you know they load us up with all these they load us up with all these outside stories that build up. To the event, you know. And That's another one. Yep. Oh man, he just blew my mind. Uh, uh, see now I got to. Is gonna make an honorable mention? Yeah, but I already had three. Now I, I got to kick someone to the curb. Yeah, I went over. You can go over too. We'll just talk about them real quick. All right. All right. All right. So, magic number two. After we do number two, I just want to mention uh, that we have both seen a basketball game where they filmed Hoosiers. Yeah, we used to live right behind it. We used it. to live right behind it. Yeah, yeah. Field yeah. House. The Butler Field House, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I drove by it when I went to visit. <laughs> That's right. So. <laughs> so. All right. Sorry, I wanted to. No, absolutely. After number two, we pause and do our, uh, before revealing our number ones, we go through and go through our honorable mentions. So we'll. Uh, this will be the last. Number two, what do you got, Katie? My number two. The Karate Kid. I didn't think of that. I, I really, I, kind of ashamed. I didn't think it was. A song. <laughs> Love that movie. I mean, yeah, that's good. That's good. I think I think that movie wanted you know made want or made kids everywhere want to learn karate. Yeah, just so so good. At least made tons of kids kick their brother right in the face. Sweep the leg. So yeah, sweep your leg, Johnny. Uh, there we. Uh, there might have been some of that. We had, you know, three brothers at, at my house, so uh, yeah, there might have been some some of that. Yeah, well, I didn't really think about that. That one's a. Uh, hmm, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. All right. All right. Yeah. What's your number two? My number two. We're going back to comedy. Oh. Basketball. Nice. Nice. I have to uh, have to say that's uh, quality. Did I, did I South Park you? No. Oh. No. Oh, you thought I forget that? You thought I, I forget thought maybe people? you forgot. I mean, you did no. forget South Park. Let's just be I honest. I was just kind of hoping maybe continue the trend with, with Trey and Matt. With Matt and Trey. No, no, Matt and Trey this time. Have no. you been watching this season, by the way, at South Park? No, I have not. What's up, oh. with, this, what's up with this hashtag? Hashtag cancel South Park. What? At That's the, what at the end of the episodes and like for previews for the next week, they they put black screen, black screen, white text. hashtag cancel South Park. Oh, and, Daddy, and, Daddy's got to catch up here. Okay. I yeah. don't know what I don't know what he's trying what they're trying to do. I don't know if they're trying to get themselves canceled or if it's just publicity, but or if they're figured they're going to push the line so far, people are actually going to start saying cancel South Park, but and they're then, going to be like, we're on the leading edge of that. But then last <laughs> week they did uh, at the end of it cancel Simpsons, cancel the Simpsons on South Park, and then they showed like how racist the Simpsons are. It was you got to it's you got to catch a trip, up. man. You got to catch up. 
Yeah, I have not been watching. Um, and it's like I don't have any like any kind of anything right now. I mean, I'm pretty much streaming, so I'll I'll uh, I'll get a hold of it. Yeah. They are past the limits this season. Huh. More than ever. Wow. That's yeah. Similar. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the uh... kids with their Dan Fogelberg and Pac Man video games. <laughs> That is a good movie. Great right. movie. That's number two. Number two. All right, what's your number, number two? two. Uh, Rudy? Look at that. Sweet little Rudy. You made all three lists. I, I, you really, if, I, I guess if we take it overall, this is going to end up the number one then. I, that's right, the right. That's right. Everything yeah. so far, so. Rudy. You know. Great. Fine. All right. So you want me to just list out my uh, honorable mentions? Yeah. Throw them out there. Honorable. All right. I'm going to say all of my honorable mentions. Go for it. Uh, League of Their Own. Yeah. The Natural. Mm-hmm. Basketball. Caddyshack. Aspen Extreme. Aspen Extreme. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll have to watch it. Never seen it. Really? Never seen it. Oh, it's so trashy. It's no, so bad. Don't really have to. <laughs> so I'll like here. Here's a funny story. So, I I vividly remember this from seventh grade, um, Spanish class. It was my. It was my first. <laughs> It was my first class in a new school in a new city, and my name, uh, my Spanish name was Veronica, Veronica, uh, and we had to go around the room and say what our name was and what our favorite movie was, and I'll never forget this, Alicia Swetland said, Aspen Extreme, and everyone was like, that's an adult movie. <laughs> I have, I, I, what's it about? I have no idea. It's about two ski bums that move to Aspen, and they're going to be ski school instructors, and they get into trouble and, like, drugs and, you know, uh, rich widows. It's so... It's, it's like it's, ski school, but not funny. It's trashy. And trashy. <laughs> trashy. All right. All right. All right. Uh, sure. And then I just had one more on my honorable mention that that we talked about last night, and I was like, I love that movie. Uh, if I could, I'd give it a 10. I'll give it a 10. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Varsity Blues. Damn. <laughs> South Park, me. Oh, yeah, South Park, too. A 10. Oh. Oh. Out. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm heartbroken. I f- oh man, I feel that makes top five if I start over. I have three honorable mentions. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you stuck to the rules. I stuck to the rules. <laughs> rules. Uh, Varsity Blues. Uh, Major League. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Creed. Creed's Creed, Creed solid. Yeah, Creed's Creed solid. Good. Sure. I like that Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. I can't wait for the sequel. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, my honorable instance, I have now six. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, Jerry. Oh, yeah. so good. Yep. Mm. Field of Dreams. Mm-hmm. Uh, basketball. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Bat- oh, nice. Old ones, because like yeah. I, I literally have the I original. Remember. Yeah. Like, I spent half my adult life trying to find these, and I just found these the other day. Like, I had Bad News Bears, the original. You can get that anywhere. But like, the uh, follow up, Bad News Bears and Breaking Training. I found that the other day. So excited. This one, and it's crap. this is total crap. Go to Japan. Yeah. I found yeah. it. 
Sure. I found it. I have been searching for this for better part of two decades. I now mean, it was like a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how much it was. I don't even remember. It, but you it saw was, it and just didn't even like. Yeah, no. I, I don't. It, it was an insta buy. I mean, it was crazy. But yeah, I, I just found those the other day, and uh, yeah, that that, that series, the, the last one sucks. Japan sucks. I mean, it's it it's bad. But uh, those first two, I loved them both, and um, yeah, can't yeah. can't beat me some Tanner Doyle. It's, uh, he's he was my man. So anyway, Doc. What was it? Dodgeball. Oh, gosh. How did I forget that? Yeah. Yeah. Did I stop for a cue? Uh, you did. Ah! I remembered it last night, yeah, but did. I did not remember it today when I was playing. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then, uh, oh. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that happens? Yeah. Huh. Uh, varsity Blues. All right. It's time for number one. Yeah. Is that, is, 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 what was that from? Uh, Dr. Demento. Is that Dr. Yeah. So, so I want to know this. Is anyone's number one already been said? Yes. Mine has not. Oh, so yours has already been said. Yes. All right, you go first then. Okay. My number one. Is yeah, on JC's uh, honorable mentions is Major League. Okay. And three, right? <laughs> no. They do the same pattern as Bad News Bears. One is fantastic. Two is pretty good. Three jumps off a goddamn cliff. I mean, it is fr ridiculous how bad it is. And they should have stopped. Did, it, did they also go to Japan? Uh, no, they just brought in Japanese players. That was uh, mm -hmm. no, that was when they were they were battling to the Minnesota Twins. They are, they had become a minor league buzz squad, and if they beat the Twins, then they got to take over the Twins spots. It's ridiculous. It was, mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever. I can't say I saw that. No, you didn't miss much. Yeah. So major league, major league. I've watched, and and we might we can start here. We could just go ahead and quote the whole movie if you want. It's <laughs> it's really sad. Um, that's probably the most quotable movie of my life. It's honestly. very very quotable. Yeah, yeah. Number one. All right. There you go. You want, you want me to go? Go already? for it. All right. My number one is the Sandlot. It's a good one. See now, JC, I, JC has the same reaction that you have, right? <laughs> and I think it just—I think it honestly is an age thing. Yeah. yeah. Like I was younger, and it's a—it is like it is a kids' movie. Yeah. yeah. But it's—I just—you know why I love it so much? I'll—I'll I'll be completely honest. I love it so much because I would watch my dad watch it, and yeah. he yeah. loved it so much. Yeah. Like he enjoyed it so much. He's like, that's how it used to be. Like you just grab a bunch of kids and go play stickball and the, you know, and I just loved, well, I loved watching him watch it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a call. That's, I, you can't say anything bad about that movie. I mean, you're killing me smalls. Yeah. You're killing me smalls. You know, that one that makes me think of that. What was that one? Was it the rookie with uh, yes. Thomas? Yeah. The funky butt loving. Yeah. Say for God, I love that. That's one of the best. That's one of the best sports movie lines. Did he say funky butt loving? <laughs> great, great. That, that, those two always kind of like. I always think of one and think of the other. Came out about the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. But good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. That's quality number one. Quality number one. That's your number one. My number one. Rocky. Yeah. Rocky. <laughs> Yeah. The first one? The first one. See, I like Rocky IV. I love Rocky III. I love Rocky IV. I love Rocky Balboa. I love Rocky II. I, I, but All the Rockies are Rocky. Good. Yeah. Yeah, well, you get a whole series on that one. You could, Because literally, honestly, I've done it. Get me wrong. Don't get me wrong here. Rocky I is fabulous. I like Rocky III better. It's my favorite. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Rocky III is Mr. T, right? Yeah. yeah. And no, that's clever. Yeah. 
I love Rocky IV. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rocky IV was, uh, especially when, uh, spoiler alert, uh, when uh, when he gets killed, Paul oh, gets killed. Yeah. That James Brown musical number. Yeah, yeah. Coming to America. Yeah. Living in America. Living in America. Living in America. Coming America. America. Yeah. Coming to America, that's a great movie. Yeah, that's a great movie, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, there it is, guys. That's our top five, top 15 sports movies. Is that right? Yeah. yeah well, I guess if you took out all the duplicates, it would be... Yeah, we probably are top 15 if you duplicate. I don't know. We kept throwing, spouting off movies. Who knows? But uh, we, could, uh, we could, like, run it through an Excel formula and figure yeah. out the top. We need to figure out our top five. That's what we need to do. Well, we got to feel like we'll do is we'll revisit the same topic in six or nine months, yeah. and we'll have a new list. Yep. There we're at. Sounds solid. And I'll remember Varsity Blues the next time. <laughs> Ten! I will I never... Uh, your life. I don't want your yeah. life. I don't want your... I, uh... Ah, oh, man. That hurt my soul. All right, you need to go back and do this stuff. We call it getting South Park, by the way. Because... Well, one of the episodes we did when we were... Uh, going through and testing out this program we did one with our top five animated movies yeah and my dumb ass <laughs> forgot south park and i am not leaving that shame down so now if you forget a movie or anything on your list you got south park so that's uh, park. yeah i got south parked so that's a thing that's a thing <laughs> So anyway, guys, uh, y'all want to play a little game? Yeah, yeah, let's roll it. Let's roll it. This game is uh, based on Google. We played a, played another test game in our, in our testing. We played uh, uh, Google Feud, and it was a disaster, unmitigated disaster. It was bad. But this game is sort of based on it, so this one's got... Disaster written all over it as well. Oh, no. Sounds what good. Let's do it. You is I'm going to give you each four choices, and you're going to answer what you think is A, B, or C. These are when when completing the sentence, there are three things that Google says in their top five, and one of them I've made up. Okay. okay. And so you got to tell me which one is not one of the top five things that Google says in their, uh, what do they call that? Predictive search? Predictive text. Predictive search. Yeah, in the predictive text, yes. All right, so for an example, if you type in, how do I? Oh, geez. The first is, A, get a passport. B, live without you. C, get rid of bed bugs. D, get home. And your choice would be? I'm going to say bed bugs. I want to say live without you. And JC would get a point. I threw that in because. I want to live without you. <laughs> that is a Michael Bolt <laughs> lyric and not a Google predictive search. So are we ready to try this and uh, yeah. give it a shot? Okay. So for my own A lobotomy b circumcision oh, c abortion or d labiaplasty <laughs> this is how do i perform my own is that right perform how can i perform my own can i perform my own can I i'm gonna say circumcision Holy Lobotomy, hell. circumcision, abortion, or labiaplasty? I'm going to say abortion. <laughs> Those are actually both things that people have in the top five. And actually, those are the top two. Circumcision oh. and abortion are number one and number two. Lobotomy oh. is the one that uh, I added in. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah. But uh, those those other three—circumcision, abortion, and labiaplasty—are all top five 
if you type in, can I perform my own? Wow. No points. No, you cannot. <laughs> Is that what post pops up? No. <laughs> yeah. All right, number two. Is it healthy to eat? A, eggs. B, books. D, meat. Raw eggs, burgers, feces, or meat. Which one of those is not in predictive text? Raw eggs. Boogers. Those are actually both in the predictive text. Feces, thank God, is not in the predictive text of what things the healthy Oh, thank God. Yeah. But. Like, geez, these are, these are really hard so um it's it's when you're playing along at home don't expect much out of this so uh i told you we were we were we were shooting for unmitigated disaster and if we got anything above that then it's a total success oh, so total anyway. success yeah total success number three is it easy to grow a weed b bamboo c mushrooms D, hops. Which one is not in the predictive text? A, weed, B, bamboo, C, mushrooms, D, hops. Bamboo. I know it is easy to grow it, but I'm also going to say bamboo. It is not. Oh. The one that I, this one I threw in and I thought, man, why is that not on there? Is it easy to grow weed? What? Not, is not in the predictive text. I thought that one. I don't know that. Yeah, I'm totally shocked. When I was going through when, when I was going through them and I saw that, I was like, how is weed not there? I mean, right, right. Yeah, that's, so apparently we're not as progressive as we think we are. Either that or people don't care where to grow it, they just want to buy it. That's, right. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're pulling it over. We're, we're, I, I have I have one point. Have one point. Yeah. Did you get one point? Yeah, the first one. Oh, that that one says example on my. Oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but so I well, got I got nothing then. Eyebreaker if we if we go zeros here. That's yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So. Uh, is my bird A, gay, B, a terrorist, C, dead, or D, a boy or girl? Is my bird gay? Is my bird a terrorist? Is my bird dead? Or is my bird a boy or girl? Dead. I'm going to say a terrorist. We're still over. Oh it's God. gay, isn't it? Those are both on there. The one is, that is not is a boy or girl. What, what? the hell is wrong with people? That's like the only thing I want to know about my bird. That's, I know. Is my boy a boy or girl? Is my bird gay? Is my bird a terrorist? And is my bird dead? Are three of the top five completions for that sentence. I feel like you would you would know. If it were gay, dead, yeah. or a terrorist. Or terrorist. Would you know if he was gay if he wasn't near another boy bird? Or a girl bird. Or a girl. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> but if, since we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, I I, it's hard for me to know. No, I don't know. Which way. Shouldn't you Google that first to find out if it's a boy or a girl to see if it is gay? Maybe that's uh, there you go. So I don't know, but yeah, that is not on there. Woo! This might be just too damn tough. Or maybe it's tough. Yeah, this is tough because like they sound like Jesus. That should be there, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's not. Okay, here we go. What would happen if I, A, only ate ramen, 
B, touched lava. C, didn't pay taxes. Or D, dropped out of school. What would happen if I only ate ramen, touched lava, didn't pay taxes, or dropped out of school? Didn't pay taxes. I really want to say drop out of school, but I got to go with only a ramen. Katie has got on the board. Yay! The actual number one is is what happened if I only ate ramen. <laughs> ramen. Yeah, it's fantastic. These uh, I it makes you wonder about the people who are typing stuff into Google. You know, how does that get to be the number one answer? But yeah, what ha what would happen if I touch lava? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna disintegrate your hand. Yeah, but yeah, you were going to burn. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if we put it in, if it, if it would be different because of our location. I see that. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't really know. Um, I don't because the Google does. Uh, you feel like in in Hawaii, touch lava is probably not on their top. It's not even a question. No. Because they are smart. They know. Hey, don't touch it. Don't touch They're lava. Like, can we cook on this shit? Yeah, that's that is interesting. I wonder if that's yeah, can we cook on this shit? <laughs> yeah, so. some fish on the lava. lava. We have lava fish. So Katie is pulled into the lead here with oh. the uh, remaining one. With the remaining one. <laughs> All right. What the hell? B. Hufflepuff. C. Dab. Or D, gigawatt. What was the oh, first one? Chia pet. What the hell is a chia pet? What the hell is a Hufflepuff? What the hell is a dab? What the hell is a gigawatt? What the hell is a gigawatt? <laughs> Classic. If you don't know where that's from, you can turn this podcast off right now. No, just <laughs> uh, a dab. What the hell is a dab? <laughs> what did you go with, Katie? I went with Jigawatt. Oh, you went with Jigawatt. Oh, that was your answer. You were just, yeah. Okay. I just said it like he says it. Yeah. What the hell is a Chia Pet? Is not. What? Come on, ch -ch -ch chia. Yeah. Everybody knows what a chia pet is. Apparently they do, so they don't. They don't Google it, I guess. So uh, that's what it is. Yeah, but Jigga Watson, no, I love that. That yeah. was funny. Yeah. Can you deep fry a water? B bacon. C watermelon. Or D Pumpkin seeds. Can you deep fry water, bacon, watermelon, or pumpkin seeds? Let's say watermelon. I really want to say water, but I, really I feel like that. someone has to have asked that. And in case you're wondering, I don't believe you can. I feel like that's an explosion waiting to happen. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to go with. Bacon, because it seems so obvious. Katie is the commanding lead of two to nothing. Or two to five. No, nothing. Two to yeah, nothing. Because <laughs> there's no tie at this point. I mean, it's kind of crazy. So. Anyway. I kind of wanted to know, so that's why I put it on there. You you, them on. I would think can, so, right? Yeah, you can batter it and fry it, I think. Yeah, batter and fry it. That'd be fine, right? I like salt on my watermelon. I do, too. That mm. way. Mm. Not for me. It's good stuff. Good stuff. And the final question. Do you want oh, to yeah. make this worth three points just so you can... Uh, okay. All right. This Old is a snitch. This is, this is the three for... Why do they call it A, a doobie, B, Black Friday, C, 
the clap for D white elephant. Why do they call it A, a doobie, B, Black Friday, C, the clap, D, white elephant? I'm going to say Black Friday. Man, this one's tough because they all sound very, very logical. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's what you're going for. So this is a shot in the dark. Got to go with something other than what she said because... That's how you win. <laughs> that's how I have a chance. Yep, that's how you have a chance. I'm going to go with the clap. Why do they call it a doobie? Doobie. Oh! oh. Yeah, Black Friday, The Clap, and White Elephant all are on there, so. Huh. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, why do they call it? I mean, of course, why do you call it a doobie? I, you know, I mean. I don't know why I call it a good doobie. I, I, I actually, I don't know the answer to any of these. I, I do Black Friday. Black Friday is because you end up in, that's when most stores end up in the black. Right. Is what they make on that Friday, so. I get that one, but I don't know why it's called the clap, and I don't know why I would call it a white elephant yet. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. But uh, that was our uh, stupid game that I couldn't uh, call Google predictive text. That's what we'll call it. And I am terrible at this game. Uh, like, this game is hard. This, one is hard. Might, this might get uh, uh, expunged. So uh, I don't know. But uh, it was uh, something I ran across the other day. Based on the crappy game that we played before, but uh, which I was, I was terrible at. at. That, yeah, <laughs> it was it was not pretty. So anyway, there's that. Right. So Katie had to get back to work after uh, our game here, so she's uh, she's left us. But uh, I guess uh, I guess we're kind of finished with this episode here, JC. What do you think? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a good one. Uh, you know, you got to start somewhere, so we might as well start here. I think, um, yeah, no, it's it's fun. That's that's the point. That's what keeps us coming back. Yeah, yeah, we're having a good time doing it. And I, I, you know, when you're in these situations, when you're making content without any kind of, you know, money coming back in, it's got to be fun for you. I mean, I, to to fight through this, you know, to. Because for us to get paid, and we've got a lot of shows that we're going to have to make for free. So, oh, yeah. yeah. But it can be less if you get out there, one, like, subscribe, leave comments below. Tell us what you liked about the show. Tell us what you, you know, what you think we can improve on, which is probably a longer list than what you liked about <laughs> it. But we're, uh, you know, we're having fun with it. And, and we're really open to suggestions if you got any games that you think would be good or any top five lists you'd like to see us do yeah top that. five topics start a top five topic thread on this uh, episode yeah. uh and also yeah improvements things you'd like to hear us talk about uh i don't know news segments anything you think uh you'd like to hear our take on so we're gonna be premiering this in in several different areas i'm gonna i know i'm gonna have it on my uh youtube.com slash richard Howe. Are you going to upload this to the Drivecast? Do you want to put that on there? I, I think I would. I would like this on the Twitch, the Twitch channel as well. Yeah. we're gonna if that's Twitch TV slash the Drivecast, and it'll also be on Twitch TV slash Richard Howe. So we'll we'll premiere this in several different formats. Um, I've even been looking at some other avenues to get this out there, so we can get it out there and enjoy it. Get with us, JC and I are both uh, we're on Twitter. We're both you know very accessible on there. Uh, you can get a hold of us. Uh, JC, what's your Twitter? It's J A Y F R A L I C K, J Fralick. J Fralick, at J Fralick. That's on his Twitter. And my Twitter is at Richard Howe. So I'll put the link to the, all, all of our stuff below. Get a hold of us. If you got topics, you whatever. Um, there ain't that many people watching this. We can actually probably talk to most of you if you uh, if you're, if you're watching this. So anyway. Uh, is that all you got anything else JC no no not right now not till next time all right well just remember like subscribe 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 and tell a friend that's the way we got to get the word out on anything like this um 
to, to get that, if you enjoyed today's show, let a friend know. That's the tell somebody. Tell somebody. That's the uh, say. Hey, I watch these two dorks and um, and this lovely lady on the show today, and they're funny, and or they make me laugh, or whatever. But tell somebody. That's the easiest way to get it out there. And uh, so I guess uh, well, I don't think we have anything else. Yeah. So until the next time, you can. What what what, what are we gonna say? <laughs> We're working on a tagline here. For all the for all the poppy you want to cock about, uh, for all the pop you want to cock about, come back to the Poppy Cock Show. We'll see y'all next week.